I'm just gonna come right out and say it. The Scarlet and Violet 151 ETBs are kinda rough. Now don't get me wrong, you can certainly pull some good stuff from these boxes, and I've seen a few people do it, but largely a lot of people, including myself, have had a pretty poor experience opening up the 151 ETB, and it's just not the kind of pull rates that we've come to expect from a specialty set. So what I'm curious to know is, are the pull rates any better for the Pokemon Center exclusive Elite Trainer Box? We're going to find out by opening up both the regular one and the Pokemon Center ETB today. Let's get into it. Now, if you guys have not been able to pick up much 151 so far, I want to mention two resources for you to check out. And the first is Pokey NE. You can check out my link to them in the description below. And if you purchase from them, you'll actually get a free booster pack with your purchase. And uh, they're a very trusted name within the Pokemon card community. I'm not sure if they have the ETBs up there right now, but they should have some still for pre-order for the, the boxes that are coming out in a few weeks from now. And then the other resource I want to mention is actually Amazon. Believe it or not, Amazon actually has some legit sealed Pokemon card product, as long as it says sold and shipped by Amazon on the listing. So I'll actually link to a few products like the ETB in the description below, and you'll find it in my Amazon store as well. But without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and open up our 151 ETBs, starting off with a regular one. We'll open the Pokemon Center one in just a little bit. All right, let's get our contents out of here first of all make sure we grab our Snorlax promo make sure don't damage it in the process this one's looking pretty good a little top heavy on the centering yeah we'll have to check out the condition a little off center but not too bad I really like this one a lot we won't waste time with all the other contents in there as you can see let's get right into our packs Now, like I said, a lot of people have not been having the best luck with these ETBs, including myself. Uh, I didn't even pull a single illustration rare in my uh, first opening of this. Uh, we did pull just uh, two EXs. One of them was a full art, so that's not terrible, I guess. But anyway, uh, watch me be completely proven wrong in this opening. But my point is that you certainly can pull some good stuff, but it's uh, you know really the luck of the draw whether or not you get a good ETB or not. Whereas other sets like Hidden Fates and Celebrations, Crown Zenith, usually you're going to get several hits uh, from the box, and that's really the fun thing about these specialty sets. So anyway, we'll see how our luck is on our first pack here. Let's we got a Reverse Eevee, we got a Sea King, and anything? Oh, maybe? Nope, just a regular Hollow Vile Plume, of course. I'm telling you, those those Hollows they they fake you out every time. Again, I do love the art on them. We are gonna enjoy that during this opening at the very least. But yeah, we just wanna see something good here. We wanna see an illustration rare at least. Let's go with the Charmander. Spiro. I don't even remember seeing that one yet. Rhyhorn, Magikarp, Bill, Golbat, Leftovers, Doug Trio, Slowbro. That one's really cool. Let's take a quick look at that one. Uh, anything? We got Hollow Machamp. That's a new one though. We haven't uh, pulled him yet. That's good. Hoping that the best is yet to come. Like I said, didn't start off too great with our first opening. Let's see if we can just go up from there. Cloister, Grabber, Kingler, Oregon. Reverse Kabuto. Oh, okay, we got something. Our first EX, just the regular EX Jinx. But hey, I love all the Kanto Pokemon. I know probably not the most favorite one of anybody, but hey, oh, nice. We also got a Hollow Energy. I do like these a lot. And man, we we got two swirls on this Lightning Energy. We did not pull the, the Hollow Lightning before. So yeah, we'll be thankful for that. Actually, i got to open up a new set of sleeves. These are the perfect fit sleeves that I actually buy from Amazon. Those are also linked in the description below if you're interested. Yeah, if you're new here, I just prefer these over penny sleeves. I don't know why. I just think they feel nicer. You just kind of slip them in like that. They're nice and snug. As I mentioned, we are doing a master set for... 151 so uh, yeah these are all new hits even those hollows were new so definitely at least glad to pull some new stuff 
There you go. Let's go with the Oddish. Mankey. Meowth. Kefiri. Persian. Muck. Daisy. Nidoqueen. That's a reverse. A little hard to tell. It's muted. We got anything? Okay. Hollow. Or reverse hollow Nidoran. And. Oh, okay. We got Daisy's help. Not too bad. And you know what? I'm I'm not always uh, excited about the trainers, but because we need it for our master set, I am actually excited to see it. So that's awesome. Let's take a quick look at condition here. Um, yeah, you still see like white dots around it. This one's not terrible though. Decent centering, a little uh, top heavy, a little left heavy, but not by much. All right, well, we are actually doing all right so far. <clears throat> Yeah, I feel like uh, yeah, our last box we got one EX and one full art. It was a you know a Pokemon full art, not a trainer. But if we just get one more hit today, we're already doing better than our first box. And uh, unfortunately, I've seen some other people's openings, seen some comments on my videos, and that has been I think a very common theme. So uh, yeah, it's not not the greatest, but I guess it just means that there's an actual chase, which. I know some people are also, they've asked for that. So people do gotta make up their mind. Do they want easy hits or do they want a hard chase? Yeah, it can be a tough balance, I'm sure, for the Pokemon company to figure that out. I don't know if I've seen this one, the Executor. <laughs> that one's kinda cool. That one is uh, it's very reminiscent of the, is it the base set or is it in jungle? I can't remember, but yeah, I like that. Hey, we got the Reverse Charmander, nice. Reverse Hitmon Lee. That's pretty cool. And do we got anything? Just the hollow Aerodactyl, but I do love this one from Shinji Kanda. Who, uh, someone in my comment of my last video reminded me that this is the same artist who did the Magikarp, which I love, as well as the Giratina, which I know a lot of people love. It's not my favorite card, but um, I mean, it, I will say it's a really cool artwork, but I just, uh, I don't like the Pokemon. I don't, don't, I don't know. I, I feel like it's very overrated. But that's just me. Let's keep it rolling. Vulpix. Magnemite. Caterpie. Eevee. Need a queen. Victory Bell. Big Air Balloon. Need a queen. Reverse. Kabuto Reverse. Hollow Dodrio. Have that. Come on, can we get a third hit in this ETB? Oddish, Mankey, Meowth, Kabuto, Gloom, Doug Trio, Kakuna Matata. What a wonderful phrase. Tentacruel, and anything, just another hollow Machamp. Okay, but we did get a fire hollow. We, we did pull a fire one last time. Still no swirls on this one. All right, man, we got only got two packs left. This is, uh, it's gone by fast. Was that really nine packs? Or I guess seven so far? Just felt like going through this really fast. All right, we got Coughing. Psyduck. Ekans. Cubone. And I really like this artwork. Like this is, this has got to be one of my favorites from this entire set as far as the, the commons. Let's go. Bill. Licky tongue. Hey! Yes, we finally, finally got not only a third hit, but we finally got an illustration rare. That is sick. I love this one. Got Tangela just swinging from the trees. All right. All right. See, this is what I... This is what I would expect from an ETB. I would expect three hits, and then one of them to be an illustration rare. I understand if they're not going to be the SIRs, but this is what people want to see. So, all right, we actually got a good ETB, I would say. Uh, you never know. Do we got a double hit here? Nope, but we got Aerodactyl and a Lightning Energy. I tell you, I'm so excited just to see uh, an illustration rare finally. By the way, our last opening, we didn't just open an ETB. We opened that and a, uh, a poster collection box. There was nothing in that box at all. 
pretty wild. All right, so let's get that last pack magic in our ETB here. Let's go execute order 66. Uh, wrong, wrong property, wrong, wrong IP. All right, here we go. Tentacruel, Hitmonlee, Marowak. Again, very similar. That looks like it's probably the same artist who did the Cubone. I really like that. You see how the um, the rocks are kind of like floating. I mean, it's it's probably because he like whacked them and they're just kind of in the air. But it reminds me of it being on the moon or something like that. All right, anything here? Got reverse gloom. And ending off with a nice hollow, the Mewtwo. Nice. I don't think we had pulled the hollow of that one yet. So that one is a really sick artwork as well. Who's this by? Arika Egawa. Let's take a brief intermission and open up some mail from Whatnot. Now, Whatnot is the app featuring live streamed auctions where you can bid on Pokemon cards and often get some pretty great deals. If you want to do the same, make sure you use my link in the description below and you can actually get a $15 credit towards your purchase on there. Let's find out what we have here. All right, got a card looking pretty near mint, a little whitening, but nothing crazy. Ooh, very cool. We got Gyarados, another great uh, Kanto Pokemon of the 151 Pokemon. It's a really cool artwork here. I know there's a few different versions of this card. I don't know even which one this is. This might be a reverse hollow or something. I'm not quite sure, but really cool card. Thought that was a cool pickup. But now we can continue with our 151 opening. We're gonna open up our Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Box. By the way, I had heard, I mean, this is just a rumor. I would heard this in a Facebook group that they had some errors of this box release that doesn't have this Pokemon Center logo on the front. I think it still has it like on the side or something like that. Um, but yeah, they are different packaging other than that because you see it has 11 packs in it. So anyway, something to look out for if you ended up purchasing this box, maybe you got the error box and um, yeah, might be worth holding on to or selling for a little more. All right, in here we should have 11 packs, 9, 10, 11, they're all there. Always good to check. And then we also get two promo cards in here, not only the regular Snorlax one, but we also get one with a Pokemon Center stamp on it, which is the one that I like to collect personally. I pretty much always pick up a Pokemon Center ETB just to get this card. And uh, it's also fun to open as well. So, awesome. All right, let's continue with our opening. So obviously, you know, it'd be good to at least get three hits in the second one, but there are two more packs. So you would think that there would be more. I, again, if I were the one creating these boxes i would i would feel like three like this would be good for a regular etb and i think four or five should be in a pokemon center one but that's just me we'll see we'll see if we get anything any better in this one maybe we'll actually get like a an sir i don't know here we go we got grimer weedle goldeen goldeen parasects giovanni Cloyster, Nidoran Reverse, Tauros Reverse, and Hollow Beetrill. All right, Venonat, Pidgey, Metapod, Ponyta, and grab it. Leftovers seems like such a random trainer to include in a Kanto themed set, but whatever. Clefairy. Ooh, this is one we haven't seen yet. Polyrath. And that is, okay, it's not a rare. It's an uncommon, but yeah, pretty cool. He's kind of running through Pokemon's version of Times Square. And we got Electrode Hollow. Another. This one opened a little strangely. Got uh, Nidoran. Female, I think. Ghastly. Oh, nice. Nice Kamiya artwork on the Ghastly. Always the funky, tripped out style. 
grab her. Butterfree, grab two there. We got Weedle and, ooh, nice. We got an EX and a good one, Venusaur. That's pretty cool. Gotta love the, the starters. All right, we are thankful to see that guy, one we have not pulled yet. I'm sure I'll be opening a lot of this set, so we may see this guy again. But uh, anyway, let's separate our hits a little bit more here. All right, guys, let's go. Pikachu, Farfetch'd, Shelter, Daisy, Venomoth, Rapidash, Reverse, Goldeen, 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 Helix Fossil, and a Hollow Marowak. Krabby, Sandshrew, Seal, Doduo, Ride on, Executor, or Executor, Executor. I always called him Executor when I was little. Then I kind of adopted what most people call him. Parasect, Vaporeon, nice. We got the reverse hollow of that one. We did pull the hollow, so it's good to have both. Anything under there, just the, the hollow me too, yet again. Hey, we got another hollow dark energy though. I don't think we had pulled the dark energy. <laughs> nice, and this one has two swirls. One, two right there, that's pretty cool. Yeah, we had pulled the metal one before, so I don't think we had this one. Have that. Antique Helix Fossil, Slowpoke. Love that one too. <laughs> Slowpoke is a great Pokemon. Oh yeah, and Magmar is a great Pokemon too. I have not seen this one yet. This one, I don't even think I pulled this one from the Japanese box either. Very cool to see several here that we've never seen before. Horsey, Nidorina, Raticate, Erica's Invitation, Staryu, Energy Sticker, and a Hollow Jolteon. Tentacool, another nice artwork. This one is Miki Kuda. Oh, That's a pretty cool style. Ratata, kind of reminds me of, uh, I don't know why it reminds me of Lion King, the Hakuna Matata scene. Squirtle Squirtle, Licky Tongue, Graveler, Protective Goggles, Arcanine, or Arcanine, Reverse Venomoth, we got Ekans and Articuno Hollow behind him. Still some more chances, but I was really hoping to see at least two by now. All right, here we go. I um, mean, yeah, I love this Abra artwork, and it is by none other than Mitsuhira Arita, who actually created the original version of this card where Abra is leaning up against the tree. Looks like he just kind of crawled a little ways and, yeah, just kind of being lazy there in the sun. Bulbasaur, Magneton, Nita Queen, Victory Bell, Reverse Hollow Squirtle, we needed that one. And Sea King, and Hollow Gengar. Man, I just go back and forth about this one. I guess if I'm honest, I, I love the style of this, but I don't really love the artwork. Might be one of my least favorite of Kamiya's so far, but hey, look there, we got another Hollow energy and it's not a duplicate we got the the uh, fighting energy kind of makes me wonder if the Pokemon considers this a hit because uh, yeah we did pull two in the last box and three other hits but uh, I don't know I don't know if that's quite gonna do it for most people all right man we only have three packs left we gotta get something good here we're not even caught up to to our regular ETB here a regular ETB might even do better than the Pokemon Center one, which would be a shame because we did pay quite a bit more for this one. Let's go with the Venonat, Pidgey, Poliwhirl. I know I've said it before, but I like this artwork a lot. That one's 
Kurata Sa, so something like that. Kakuna Matata, Tentacruel, Snorlax, Sand Slash, Onyx Reverse, Slowbro Reverse. Anything? Nope. Wow. Rough. Oh man, are we really gonna come away with just the Venusaur EX? That that would be very very sad. Dratini, Growlithe, Geodude, Jigglypuff, Air Balloon, Primeape, Firo, and Dugong, Kabuto, anything? Okay, regular EX, we got Golem EX, not bad, at least we finally got a second hit from this box. And it's not a duplicate, so we'll be thankful for that. Again, hoping for something better, but... Yeah, like I said, I'm still thankful. All right, last pack. Can we get that last pack magic? I really feel like we need it because we, yeah, we so far we were doing worse in our in our uh, Pokemon Center ETV than we did in our regular one. Pretty crazy. I feel like the only thing that would redeem it is if we get a a uh, special illustration rare in this last pack. So let's go ahead and do that. Here we go, we got the Poliwag, Ponyta, Pikachu, Farfetch'd, Nidorino, Golduck, Pinsir, Nidoran, oh, we got something, oh, alright, we got the Gold Switch, alright, we'll take that. These gold cards are not the easiest to pull, so that is a Seeker Rare. Obviously, would have loved to get the Mew, but uh, we still we're going to need this for the Master Set, so that's pretty exciting. But do we have a double hit? Not quite to end it off, but that's okay. We finally at least got three hits from our Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Box. It's just crazy because I feel like we got probably an above average regular ETB this time and probably an average Pokemon Center ETB. Again, I kind of wish they were a little bit... Better than that, but it's okay. We're thankful to get some cards and no duplicates today, so our master set is growing a little bit at a time. Now, I'm curious to know, what has your experience been like opening up the 151 ETBs? Let me know in the comments below. Check out one of these videos on screen that I think you may enjoy. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe below to support the channel. And lastly, I want to let you know that no matter what you're going through, you are not alone. God is with you and he loves you, and we do too. I'll catch you next time.